2024 Slow Pitch Softball Association Glove 16 inch Nationals here in Joliet, Illinois. Rosmondo in the field in the gray. The home team against 45s. 45s, a Chicago major team. The winner gets flashbacks in the championship. Got a brand new 16 inch ball. Travis Clark pitching from 37 feet away. Start with a 0 0 count. Ball's just foul. All right, after the foul ball, it's Nate Mercado, the two hitter for 45s. We're back on field number one. Marshburn throws him out. Pearson at first. Reichardt at second. Clark pitching. Baza in the middle. Marshburn at short. Bubba Mack at third. And the bases are just 60 feet. So the infielders don't have a lot of time. It's Phil Matt catching. Clark, of course, doesn't have to wear any gear. No helmets. Marshburn's got another play, and he sailed it. Almost out of the park. Runner on first, as you can see, he can lead off. You can be picked off, one pickoff attempt per batter, I believe, but you cannot steal, even if the pickoff attempt goes awry. Smith hits it in the left, caught, and Rosamondo, he snow coned it, Riley snow -coned. Riley Briggs and Buddy Wolf in the outfield. The wind, on back, and we're back on field one, so the wind's blowing in. Winner's final is on field four with the wind blowing straight out. The winner will go back to field four with the wind blowing out to take on flashbacks. Sanchez, the veteran pitcher, he said he was in his 60s. Got some good reactions for that age, and he's a great pitcher. There it is. He knocks it down, throws him out. Hey, good play! Oh, I missed the swing. Sorry about that. Kyle Pearson with the base hit. I had a no pitch and messed me up on my timing there. Wind blowing in hard. Pearson on base. Matusa gets a deep left. Left fielder tracks it down for out number two. Tough spot, bounces over the middleman's glove, and that's going to score the first run of the game. Pearson on the Phil Matt base hit. Bubba well, Mack to right center, that's in there, that could score a run. Base is only 60 feet, here comes Phil Matt, and he's in. Base hit by Travis Clark, should score a run. And it does, Bubba Mack. Three zip. Bouncer to short. Muffed by the shortstop. Everybody's safe. And timeout to talk it over with the defense. All right, Tyler Marshburn hit a base hit down the right field line for a double. And another run. And it's 4 nothing. I missed it on the video. My apologies. Try to get some better video going here. Here's Corey Briggs. It's a pretty big inning with the run uh, wind blowing in. Two outs, Briggs off the pitcher. He gets the out. Nice play. 45's down. 4 nothing. to go to the top of the second. Chris Lentine leads off the top of the second with a walk. Adam Haas, the lefty. Uh, that was foul. All right, after the close foul ball down the first base line, it's a bouncer up the middle, tag, and double play. These teams that are left, 45s and flashbacks, have a long history in the 16-inch game. They won multiple world championships. Of course, for his mind on the 12-inch side, has the most hardware of any major team in history. Villarreal trying to work a walk, but he hits it up the middle, right over the bag. Bazad throws him out. Oh, 
Be set by Reckart to start off the bottom of the second. You can see the lead off there by Reck. Cannot steal. Bazat punches it to third. Fielder's choice. Top of the rack, Josh Riley. We're at the Inwood Sports Complex in Joliet, Illinois, outside of Chicago. Riley looks at a meatball down the middle. Runner on first is now Bazat. Sanchez, the veteran pitcher, working the zone here. Riley hammers at the center of base set, first and second. Kyle Pearson, infield loaded to the left side. Wind still blowing strong, 12 to 15 miles an hour. And he hits a pop up, the wind's gonna kill it. And it's down, and everybody's safe. Good base running by Riley who's the long bomber of the week here at the 16-inch Nationals. Hit the only home run over the fence that we're aware of. 300-foot fences. And he popped it up. Caught in foul territory. The throw comes home. And the run scores. Phil Matt will try to get some two-out goodies. Hard shot, knocked down by the second baseman, gets the out at first. 45's coming up top of third, down 5-0. Right, Dom after the foul ball against Clark, hits the inside pitch, backhanded by Mack. And it's a good thing Pearson's about 6-5 over there, he makes the play. Phase that with the range, makes the play. Sanchez, the pitcher, with a base hit. And a walk to the leadoff. All right, 45's in the red out of Chicago. Line drive, third out. Rosmondo up, 5-0. Go to the bottom of the third. Bubba Mack, first pitch swinging, Dom on the run, makes the catch. Kid's got a lot of range. Alright, 3-2 pitch to Clark, here with one out in the bottom of the third. And the pitcher is a Hoover out there, makes another play, Sanchez. Flies out the center, that'll do it. Five nothing to Rosmondo. We go to the top of the fourth. All right, it's 4 p.m. Central Time. And 45 still looking for their first run against Rosmondo. The wind blowing in. And there's a nice leadoff single. That was Jeff Mustari with the single. He's got the big leadoff over there. Pearson trying to keep them close. They start each game with a brand new 16-inch ball. The clincher. If it goes out of play, they will use a used ball. But then they get the new ball in as quickly as possible. 16-inch batters, most of them, if not all of them, walk the box. Try to get some momentum. Whereas the Rosmano guys still pretty much just standing, taking their normal swing. Two strikes on Chris Lentine. Runner on first is Smith. Clark's got it. Gets it to Beza. Safe at first. Get the force. Go get it! Go get it! The run rule is 10 after 5, I believe. Rosmano won one of their games by the 10 run rule. It's 5 0 here. They scored 4 in the first. Marshburn now is starting to get into it. He's got two hits in a row. Dom is going to try to run it down on the fence, makes the catch. Runner will advance. 
in 16 inch as we're learning the runner on second with the lead off usually scores on a base hit a clean base hit it's difficult to throw out runners Rounder up the middle, in the center field is going to score a run. Record with an RBI single. That makes it 6 nothing. Azap punches it in the right. That's down, a base hit. You always got to watch these veteran 16-inch teams. They'll try to pick you off. The bases. He's at and record on the bases with leads. Here's Josh Riley, top of the order. We were discussing earlier a between five and six hundred on base percentage is considered a good on base for a 16 inch. Yeah, a little dispute over the strike zone, and Riley walks. The bases are loaded. All right, one out, bases loaded. Sanchez pitch to Pearson, just deep. Six foot to 12 foot arc. Pearson hits it in the right field, a base hit. And Rosano is on their horse, safe at the plate, Bazette and Reckhardt. Two more runs, seven, nothing. One hopper to short, there's one, and there's so a drop, and he did not pick it up in time. Run scores, 9-0. Matt to right center should do the inning. That'll do it. Top of the fifth coming up, 9-0, Rosmondo. He's phenomenal. Um, hit and sit. Hit and sit show. He's pitching really good. Now. He's really settled into that arc. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing really good. I think. I think. And Mac flies out to right. Spano hitting the first pitch. Hopefully, I'm getting that on video. Travis Clark with the base hit. Bubba Max start off with an out. Nine zip. And Bubba Max gets one by the pitcher, which they haven't been able to do. And now the center fielder overran it. That's going to be the 10th run and a runner on third. So they're going to be in. Oh, that's it. So they walked him off with the 10 run rule after five. And Rosmondo will advance over to field four where the wind's blowing out for the championship. Coming up next. 45 finishes third.